$40. All right, so I'm at an auction and I just bought one of the rarest Pyrex sets out there for a measly $20. Well, everyone, welcome back. Auction day. This is an interesting auction. Now, this is a little bit different than most auctions. All right, so this auction's a little bit different, as you guys might have heard in the background, talking about numbers and whatever it might have been, registering. Uh, this one you don't actually register for. So you just show up, you bid, you pay with cash. So if you win for $5, you hand them $5, and then you take the items. There's no... Uh, number and then pay at the end. There's no registration. It is very windy uh, So it's a little bit different than most auctions, but we'll see what we can buy uh, Another thing is he doesn't do buy the choice So literally you buy this whole bundle you buy this bundle you buy this bundle um, and that's how it is Oh, it smells so bad. It's just that moldy, musty smell. If you know, you know. It's a. It's not a barn smell. It's not an attic smell. It's a basement smell. These are kind of nice. Pyrex. They're great lots if you can get them for like $2 a lot. But, you know, you're gonna end up, you have to take everything also. You can't be one of those guys who leave stuff. That's the whole point of some of these sales. You just, they want to get rid of it. So you gotta take it all. See what kind of they're bringing out more and more out. There. This is so windy. All right, so I know I didn't talk about the recent storms we had, but we were uh, supposed to get really, really slammed yesterday with storms. So by the time this video comes out, it's gonna be long over. But uh, we were supposed to get hit with really bad storms in the area yesterday, and uh, we didn't. Now we're on that. But I'm about not nah, maybe 15, 20 miles north of where I'm at, where I live, and. Uh, Larry's here and he says he lives a couple miles down the road. He said he, he was lucky he can even get out. He said all the roads down here were shut down. There's trees everywhere. He has no power ever since yesterday. So, yeah, it is very windy. So I apologize for any wind noise. But they keep bringing out boxes out of the basement and making these lots up, like I've said. That's how they do it here. Is that a postal thing? No, baking company. <laughs> It's a, I guess it would be a bread box. A modernized bread box would be this. One dollar for the snow people up around. One dollar, anybody. One dollar right here. Anybody go to two? You got it. One dollar. What if you got that, Christopher? I'll just pay you. I'll just pay you. Just wait. Oh, this is, oh, look at there. Nice pictures. All right. We have some foul pictures right here. Who's starting up $5 gold with everybody? Hey, $5, what you got? Hey, we'll go $2 on pictures right there. Hey, we'll go $2. We got two bucks right there. How about three? Will you go three? How about four? Will you go four? How about five? Will you go five? You got five? Will you go five, sir? Will you go six? All right, will you go seven? Seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so I just bought one of the rarest Pyrex sets out there. One of the hardest sets to find out there. Um, really desirable, really hard to find. I believe it's called the Americana, but in the blue. So you got a Tiffany blue. It's a little bit darker of a blue. This is more like a Tiffany. I guess you'd call that, I don't know what you'd call it. It's a little bit darker. And then you have the darker blue. One of the hardest sets to find. $20. Can't beat it. That is a good find. $50 bid. There's $55, $60, $60 anywhere. There's $55, $60 bid. $60, $60, $60, $60, $60, $60, $60, $60, $60, $60, $60, $60, $60, $60, $60, $60, $60, $60, $60, $60, $60, $60, $60, $60, $60, $60, $60, $60, $60, $60, $60, $60, $
goes this is going to be depressing what this goes for. So, so not that headboard. No, that headboard goes with the other one. This. And so you got everybody paying attention. We have this dresser, the mirror dresser, this nightstand, and you got the two piece headboard that Dave is. Two piece headboard with. No, no, you're fine. It goes. Now, the mattresses are inside. You want the mattresses? They're yours. Okay. I can't sell you them, but I can sell you the bed. What do you want on the bedroom set? Where's the first $20 and go? What do you want to bid? You set the prices all day. Say 10. There's 10 and 15. There's 10 and 15 now. There's 10 and 15, 15 anywhere. You got it at $10, number seven. Next one, you have that bed. You have the top right here. One money takes it all, say five bucks. Five bucks, you got the cake tins. There's two and four. There's two and four dollar now. There's two and four dollar, four dollar where you go. There's two and four dollar, four dollar bid. You got it at two bucks. Right here. Right here. All the books, right here. Say a buck. There's a buck. Say two. Say two. I just wanted the basket. No, no, no. My runner's got her? Okay. All right. Right here, this slot right here. Say five bucks and go. Two bucks. Two, four, six, eight. There's six and eight. You got it at six, short delivery. Next item's right here. Right here. One money takes it all. You got the mini vac. Right here, this slot. Say two bucks. Everything in it. A buck. There's a dollar. Say two. You got it at a dollar. Somebody got that? Got it. Okay. This slot right here. One money takes it all. You with me, Kaylin? Yes? Okay, say a buck. There's a dollar. Say two. You bought it at a dollar. Okay, the sewing machine. The thread. Everything for the sewing machine. Do you want to bid? Say five. 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 Ten. Fifteen. Twenty. Twenty-five. Thirty. Thirty-five. All right, I just bought this for $2. Time to consolidate my great merch. Holy smokes, this is $23 that's someplace. Okay, all right, on the Lincoln Welder, on the Lincoln Welder, everybody see it? Lincoln Arc Welder, what do you want to bid? Where's the first $10 and go? I don't know if it worked. He says five, say 10. 10, 15, 15, you got it at 10 bucks, number five. I don't know if y'all see me, I'm trying to stand a light, but this is, this has got to be one of the first for me at an auction. This is late. All right, so now we appear in the next day. It's, uh, well, I guess it is the next day. That was a wild auction, uh, and I say it was wild because it, uh, it ended very, very late. Uh, there definitely were deals to be had. I think with every auction, there are deals to be had. Uh, and yeah, we scored pretty well. So I have a bunch of stuff in the front. Those are empty bins. Those are just... It's just home decor. I can show you quickly. That looks kind of creepy. So yeah, it's just home decor. Let me see how it is. I did get this baking box. Country collectibles. Yeah, this stuff smells like it was in the basement. You know, just your typical, I, I wouldn't even say household stuff, but your, your, your country decor 1996 stuff that is almost everywhere here um i did get a toolbox which i paid five bucks for so one thing i noticed with this auction company really quickly is sometimes their bid increments are kind of weird so if you bid at five dollars immediately the next bid increment would be ten dollars so for this toolbox i probably would have spent six or seven dollars I would like to get it for two or three dollars or four dollars and the reason why i say two or three is because it's getting kind of towards the end of the auction you might be able to get a better deal um but i knew if i bid at five no one's gonna bid against me at ten so for example i bid on this i got it for five dollars there's a decent amount of tools here um wrenches more wrenches hammers screwdrivers uh when i was at the house the house clean out recently 
I need an adjustable wrench. I did not have one in my toolbox. I have probably 50 or so here at my house, maybe 10 or so at the warehouse, but there's some Craftsman tools in there. But of course, I didn't have it. Some vice grips. Uh, so $5 for this whole set is a great deal. But like I said, I would rather go for like $3 or $4. You get towards the end of auction. If no one else there is buying tools. You probably can pick them up for like a dollar a box. I know it's cheap. It's an auction, but that's how it goes. But definitely the best buy by far is this extremely rare Pyrex set. This is called the Americana uh, in the multi-tone blue variation, uh, which makes it very, very valuable. There is three bowls here. To my best knowledge, this set was sold as three bowls. And then the larger bowl, the 404, which is not here, was sold separately. So this is a 401. That's a 402. And that's the 403. The 404 was sold separately. So if you ever bought this set at a store, you would just get the three bowls. And if you wanted the other one, you would have to buy that at another time. Um, the one thing with this Pyrex, this one's in really, really good condition. You don't see a lot of flea bites here at all. Um, the one thing with Pyrex and Pyrex General is always condition. You got to make sure there's no chips. And then flea bites, which are essentially the markings on this. Uh, this one is definitely stored correctly. There's no dishwasher damage. Do not put Pyrex in a dishwasher at all. Hand wash it if you want to. One thing I've noticed with selling rare Pyrex. All right, so you can probably go online on eBay, find the three bowl set in the Americana variation. That's what it is in the blue or it's Americana in the blue variation. I believe the correct term is multi-tone blue. Um, you can probably find the three bowl set. You can find individual bowls. Um, you can probably find some that have sold, some that have been listed. But if you compare all different kind of selling avenues, if you go on Etsy, if you go on Mercari, you might only find one or two over there. Some people might be asking 500. On eBay, they might be asking 200. Some might have sold on eBay for 300. It really depends on how many are up there, what selling site you're using, as well as the condition of the bowl. So to say this bowl or this set sells for $200 because one sold for 200 doesn't mean that's what the actual selling or it doesn't mean that's what the actual value of it is because that condition could be different. Um, but it is one of the rarest sets out there. I value the three bowl set in this condition at around $300, maybe 275 to 300 also to, depends on the year that, or the time of the year that you sell it. So I would say this is a really good buy for 20 bucks. Um, I don't know if I'll hold on to it. I really don't want to ship three mixing bowls. These are glass. So you probably have to wrap them individually, box them individually, and then put them into a larger box. That is how I would sell them or ship them. Um, I would not ship them like this. I would not add more bubble wrap and just ship it like a, you know, a set like this. They would have to be individually boxed and then probably put into a larger box. But as enough of rambling for me, it was an awesome day. Uh, we did find some cool things and hopefully you guys enjoyed this treasure hunt. A nightly auction in the middle of the week. How crazy. Anyway, if you guys enjoy, hit the like button, subscribe down below for more treasure hunts, more vintage, more antiques. And until next time, have a great day. Keep living a dream. Peace.